So in this video, I'm going to show you some alternatives to the keyword planner that can help you if you don't have a strong AdWords account. Let's get started. You know, as we dive in, remember, you've got to look uh, the same theory, the same principles apply. You're really looking, you know, what are where's the volume, the search volume for keywords that I'm targeting or could possibly target. I'm looking for keyword ideas. I'm looking for value, like which keywords have a lot of value. I'm looking for the difference between an educational keyword like knee pain and a transactional keyword like knee surgery or knee surgeon. Uh, that's sort of what I'm using these tools for. So you're using the tools to kind of get to the universe of keywords and to drill down into the volume and value trade-offs. Now let's tour some of the nifty keyword tools out there that are alternatives. So let's start with the serps.com keyword tool. And I've got the links for you in the YouTube description so you can pop over and get these tools. They're also, of course, in my dashboard that you can get if you subscribe to our mailing list. So the surfs.com is really nice and I made these tools so that you don't have to pay for any of these. They are free tools. So you can put in knee pain into this tool and hit search. And this is great. And they're going to give you a little, you know, pop up there for their own ads, but you can sort it. So you can sort by the keyword text. You can sort by the volume and you can see that back of knee pain has 6,600. And the value, I'm not really sure what they mean by this. I'm assuming they mean kind of the value spend or the possible sale that might result. And you can see here the back of knee pain. So this is a good way to get your helper. So you put your keyword in here, knee pain. I would sort by volume. And then you're looking for help helpers. And you can see that ICD-9 is really interesting, causes of knee pain, et cetera. Now, remember, you have to kind of put your thinking cap and realize that the difference between volume and value uh, in transactional versus educational. So if we put a knee surgeon and hit search, we're not probably going to see the volumes, but those value numbers are going to go up. 334, et cetera, knee replacement surgeon here. Look at this one here, knee orthopedic surgeon. By the time they've realized that the fancy schmancy word is orthopedic, that's worth a lot. Look at Houston, 946. So again, you're getting here this idea of value. And the more that it comes up, right, knee surgeon salary, that's just somebody who wants to be a nurse surgeon, see how there's no value there. So this gives you a sense, the higher the value, the, the higher the number, the better uh, off you are, the more transactional uh, that that is. And so these are like 701 for knee surgeon or 946 for knee surgeon Houston, whereas if you put a knee pain, we're probably going to see low values there, right? So that tells you volume versus value. So it's not quite as elegant as the Google tool, but hey, it's free and they're not being um, obnoxious like Google is and not giving you data. So that's tool number one, serps.com. Tool number two is a Google tool and shh, they haven't blocked this tool. So a lot of people, I think even at Google, don't know that this tool exists. So you put in your keyword here, knee pain. And again, you don't have to have an account to use this one. Leave it at G20, which is sort of the top rich countries. You got to put in that obnoxious um, captcha there. So let's put in Figonsu. It sounds like I'm speaking Klingon and I'm going to hit find opportunity. So you put your keyword in here. And then you hit find opportunity and then you're going to click on United States. OK, so you're going to click the plus sign to United States plus sign to English to show additional keywords. And I don't think you can sort this tool. It doesn't sort it. But so you can see here that knee pain now very similar to Google Keyword Planner. Left hand column is your idea column and you can see here sciatica has a lot of searches, right? And then you can see here knee surgery. That's a really interesting one. Knee joint pain, knee arthritis, osteoarthritis, which is educational. Now, so that left column is your idea column as you're building out your brainstorm uh, worksheet. Like what are the possible ways that people search? This is your volume. And then here is your value. But let's look at volume. So you can see here knee surgery is at 12,000. That's pretty good, right? Knee injuries. Now, look at your value. This is what people are willing to pay per click. And notice here, pain behind knee, only 82 cents. Knee surgery, 468. So again, this tool, similar to the other tool, tells you 
that's a really good kind of sweet spot. So it's between knee pain, which has a lot of volume, 110,000, but not a lot of value, but it's not so narrow as knee surgeon Houston, which is real, real, real specific, that doesn't have a lot of volume. So you're looking, this middle column is your volume, your right column is your value, what people are willing to pay on AdWords. So that's a really nifty, nifty tool. So you can put in uh, any, you know, you can say, okay, knee surgery, and you can then drill in. And what's a little funky is you go find opportunity. If it's too low, it won't help you, it won't work. But, uh, you know, so knee surgery, United States, English, show additional keywords. And then again, gives you some information. Uh, and you can see, oh yeah, knee doctor. So doctor, surgeon, surgery, you can see how those come uh, pulled out here, orthopedic. So you really want to look at it and pay attention. And you can see here, it's giving you your synonyms, and then it's got your volumes, and it's got your value. And then look at when you see a big pop like that, 592, bingo, that's where the money is. So it's a really awesome tool, and they haven't really uh, shut this tool down yet. So that's a good kind of secret find. Uh, finally, let's look at the Bing Webmaster Tools here. And you've got to sign into your Bing account. So hopefully you have one. So you need to sign in and validate your Bing Webmaster Tools account. And Bing is sort of Number two, right, we try harder. So they're not as obnoxious as Google. They still give out data for free. So you're gonna sign in, you're gonna go diagnostics and tool, keyword research. And then it's a really good uh, alternative to the Google tool. So again, you can put in knee pain and you can hit search. And then it's nice because see this little strict guy here, if you don't check it, it's really giving you the volume. So it's telling you on Bing, for the phrase knee pain, and unlike the Google tool, which is just very, very narrow, like only the exact search knee pain, but if they put a knee pain behind knee, that wouldn't count in the total. This is the phrase match. And then again, you're gonna look at your, your volumes down here. Now for them, they hide the values. You have to click on or hover on the little dollar sign, and it's gonna give you, see that average bid is 211 versus down here that average bid is 0.08. So they give you some volume data and some value data here. They just um, hide it a little bit. You have to click to see that. So it's it's a pretty good one. I don't know if you can put in two keywords here. Let's see here. I don't think you can, but let's see. Yeah, it doesn't do that. So you have to do them separately. So you have to put in, and unlike on the Google tool, you have to put in knee surgery, um, and then do the search or knee pain, orthopedic surgeon, et cetera. And so you have to kind of do a little data. Oh, and by the way, all of these tools are really nifty because you can export them into Excel. So you can pull the data out in Excel. So that's the Bing tool for free as well. So we have three tools there. We have the SERPs tool, the Google, Google, Google hard to say, Google Global Market Finder and the Bing Webmaster Tool. These are three really cool alternatives to the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. And what you're looking in all of these is usually the left column is the Keyword Idea column, the volume, how much uh, fish where the fish are, where the volumes are, value, catch the yummy fish. So these, my friends, are three great alternatives uh, to the Google AdWords Keyword Planner uh, if you don't have an AdWords account or you just want an easier interface, the keyword planner is a little bit hard to use. So uh, some good alternatives for you there um, for keyword planner. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. If you have questions, put them in the YouTube questions and I will do my best to answer them.